Alright, this is my video for the instrument project. I have a variety of instruments that I, some of them created, others are just a creative use of household items. The first one is a PVC xylophone. It's made with PVC, PVC pipes and the pipes are cut to a particular length so that you can get whatever pitch you'd like. I, contrary to what a lot of other students in my class did, was used rope to hold the pipes together and uh, hold them up because for a couple of reasons. For one, now this is super portable and can be taken anywhere. So if you feel like going to the park to serenade people, you can play this in the park very easily. The other reason, the more practical reason that I used rope was because I hypothesized that the rope will be more free and allow the pipes to move much easier and because of this the vibrations of the air that go through the pipe when striking it will be able to move more freely and maybe produce a better sound, maybe more clear. I'm not sure I could be wrong, but that was my hypothesis. One of the other instruments I made is a shaker. Now, all this is is some rice in a bottle, a water bottle, and uh, it makes it sound just by shaking it around. And that's how you play that. The other, I have a couple other little instruments. These are also percussion instruments. They are glasses with water in them. Uh, you just play them by hitting them with a spoon. All right. Now this one's my favorite. This is an instrument that every homeowner should have, and they may not even realize that it's a musical instrument, but it is. A good old trash can. This one is really big, and that's why I like it, because It'll offer a lot of deep bass sound. All you need is like a hammer of some sort. I'm using this big rubber mallet. And all you do is you hit it. And that's how it makes it sound. Another instrument that I have is another percussion instrument. It's really simple. This one you also use by hitting. It is simply a piece of wood. A a board that uh, you can hit with like a hammer and it makes a cool sound. And when you put these two together you can make really cool beats. So yeah, now I'm going to explain how all these instruments make their sounds and how they can be measured and tuned and just exactly how they work. So to start, the PVC xylophone makes it sound by abruptly forcing air through the pipes and you can do this by using a flip-flop or whatever or a paddle of some sort to just hit it on the top like that. Now each PVC pipe makes a different pitch because of the different length and because of the different length the waves can move uh, more or less times and it, it makes a different pitch. So yeah, that's how that works. I'll be showing math on how uh, we can measure exactly how to measure the sound and the frequency and to find the length of the pipe later on in this video. Um, this board and hammer instrument is really simple. The board vibrates when you hit it with the hammer. Uh, if I had multiple boards, maybe longer ones or shorter ones, 
each would make a different pitch because of their length and uh, you can also get heavier wood or lighter wood will also make a different pitch because of how easily it vibrates. Sounds are made by vibration, that's why we have sound waves. This drum, this trash can drum works exactly the same way. Every time you hit it, uh, you're forcing air through it and you're making the whole thing vibrate and that's, uh, the bigger it is, the deeper it's going to vibrate because it's going to move slower and uh, make lower pitches, so that's how that works. The glass chimes, one is half filled with water and the other one is filled almost to the top with water. And the reason they make different pitches is because the glass vibrates when I strike it with the spoon. The glass with more water in it is heavier and it's harder for the glass to vibrate and the water slows down the vibrations. So they are lower pitched. Contrary to that one, the one that's half filled can move more freely and faster and it makes a much higher pitch. That's how those work. Now the shaker is really simple. It also works like most other percussive instruments. Uh, the rice inside of it bounces along, bounces off the walls of the water bottle and that creates a vibration and makes a sound. Because of how loose everything within it is, it makes a really low sound and it, not exactly a pitch. Alright, now we're going to go inside and I am going to illustrate how the math to measure the pipe, the PVC pipe that I cut, for each pitch was done. Right, now I'm going to be showing my math for how I found the length that I needed for my PVC pipes and my PVC xylophone. So first what I did is I looked up the frequencies of all the notes that I wanted to use. Alright, so for instance if I wanted to find the length of an A tuned pipe, what I would do, let's see, let me find a clean sheet here. All right, the formula for the fundamental wave is F for frequency equals V divided by 2 times the length. V is going to be our speed of sound, which is roughly 344 meters per second. So, since the frequency of the A note is 440 hertz, I'm going to plug that in for frequency, 440 equals 344 over 2L. Then by using simple algebra, I can find that 440 equals 172 over L, multiply both sides by L, we get 440L equals 172, divide both sides by 440, and L equals 0.39 meters, or 39 centimeters. So that's pretty easy, that's how I used it to find the length that I needed to cut for my pipes. This formula can also be used to find any of the other vari variables. So if you know the frequency and the length, then you can find the speed of sound. If you know the speed of sound and the length, then you can find the frequency, anything you want to do. It's pretty easy. Alright, so this is my PVC pipe xylophone. I have it tied to this end, and off camera, I have an assistant holding the other end. Alright, so my PVC pipe xylophone can play all eight notes in the major C scale. That sounds a little bit like this. And now I will play a simple little song.
Thanks, everybody.